Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Tuesday, November 25th, 2014. Okay, um, no announcements from yesterday to review. This morning we have GDP at 8.30, uh, Case-Shiller Home Pricing Index, and Consumer Confidence uh, at 9 and 10 a.m. respectively. And I think that's it for the day. Yes. All right, let's see what's going on across the ponds in Asia. Kind of mixed. Uh, some bullish, some bearish, but pretty much gently, or you know, pretty significantly, in some cases, bullish over in Europe on the exchanges there. So here, what's going on? Bring up our big four here. I wasn't ready. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Okay, um, sort of flat right now at the open. Gold is up to 12.01. Not a big deal there. Oil's at 76.08. Um, Cad down from the high yesterday. And the euro US dollar's at a buck 24.38. And the dollar index is at 88. Still kind of creeping up a little bit. We were at a buck and a quarter last week. Now we're at a buck 24. Okay, um, I think that's pretty much it. I didn't do anything yesterday. I think we're going to have a performance alert here coming up. Let's just hang on a second here. Nope, I didn't get one. That's good. All right, so uh, yesterday the alert went off on Baba, Alibaba. I put an order in. I didn't have a lot of time because here you can see it's at um, almost uh, 14 minutes before the market closed. But I did settle on a 113.112 put, which had... Uh, dollar spread 40 cent credit so that's almost a one to one risk to reward but it moved off of that and actually ended up I think at 30 cents so there was it did sit there at 40 for a while couldn't get my midpoint um, don't know why but you know sometimes that happens didn't execute I didn't want to change anything because that's where I want it to be. And that was a good spot. Probably about you know, 45 delta somewhere around there. But didn't work out. So sometimes that happens. And here it is. This is what happened yesterday afternoon. We had the alert set right about here. It triggered. As a matter of fact, we can say exactly where the alert was set. Was at at or above 113.39 and it ended up at 113.92 it closed at so here we were at 113.112 at that time um, the delta was about 45 or somewhere in the mid 40s didn't work out sometimes that happens I uh, wasn't interested in anything else yesterday I was looking at possibly doing uh, something with um, either the Russell or NDX because uh, they performed pretty well yesterday and it looks like as though they are off to a good start today as well uh, Dow didn't do much and the S&P just was kind of grinding upwards yesterday and we can take a look at those as we go through the A plus list which is what we're going to start right now alright start off with apple naturally a natural apple okay all right so um here we came down we almost hit it we took a pass on it now we're looking for 
another entry. I see an article out there today about iPhone sales could hit a record for this year. So, uh, nothing going on there. Amazon. Uh, let's see here. We had our little play last week. We can get rid of this. And now we're looking for another one here. Amazon's doing quite well right now, so good for them. Um, plan on doing a little bit of shopping over the weekend. I don't think I really need to wait for Cyber Monday. So pick up some uh, gifts for other people. So I'll be doing that. Um, there's no play here at the moment. Boeing, we did the um, diagonal. We're going to have to roll that. I'll be rolling that tomorrow. Um, pretend roll tomorrow. And Baba, we took a look at. Uh, this is a this is a nice little pop actually, and I think let's see here. One, two, that's the third day, so I'm going to pass on it. God, I hate to do that, but this is, a, you know, I got in right here with a bullish play, and then it started moving down, so I thought, well, I'll do a bearish play to offset it, and then it, it just whipsawed me to death, and sometimes that happens. You have to be careful about that, but I wasn't, and sometimes that happens. But there's nothing right now. Now we have to wait. And we'll throw a target out here and see if we come to catch it. Baidu. Why are all these over here? I don't get it. Okay. Uh, Baidu. Are we in a downtrend or not? And I have to wait, but we are in a setup. And actually, this is looking kind of bearish here so that's what we're doing I have them on my setup list for a bear call Chipotle ooh yeah don't know what to make of that except that it doesn't do anything to turn this into back into an uptrend it's, but we also missed out on an opportunity here if we are starting a downtrend so we're just gonna wait and see what happens with that in this week we'll take a look at volume in a minute but this week there's probably gonna be a huge drop in volume so we have to be careful uh, we are getting close to a setup here for Costco but I'm not sure if we're gonna roll over on that or not let's take a look at the Dow uh, new high last Friday, touched it, pulled back, didn't quite get there yesterday. Was not impressed with the Dow yesterday. Gold, a um, little bit of a pullback in its new uptrend. Not interested in anything there. Too choppy, too gappy. Uh, Google, approaching our target see how that works out we need to let that one simmer a tad longer LinkedIn uh, thinking that yeah we might actually be in a downtrend here although price action really has been it's consolidating right now uh, which is bringing this moving average down closer to price so we'll see what happens when they meet up if something happens at all nothing it may just be that nothing happens now, NDX had me interested yesterday. Uh, here's our iron condor. We're just going to stick with that iron condor and see how it plays out. We have a little bit of time yet. It actually uh, is the December expiration. So we're just going to let that simulated trade ride and just see what happens. Uh, but I was looking at possibly doing something 
yesterday afternoon with a 20 delta, but I, I couldn't get, even with expiration next week, I couldn't get, I actually wanted to get, with a 20 delta, I wanted to get below this low here, and it just, it wasn't giving it to me. So, um, lack of IV probably doesn't help that a whole heck of a lot. Um, well, it's maybe, I mean, if you look at the chain, if you look at the chain, let me put this, uh, if you look at the chain, let's just go to trade tab here. Uh, like for next week, if you're looking for a 20 delta, well, you know, you gotta go down like maybe at least 30 strikes here to get down to a 20 delta, 42.15, and that's still way up here. So, looking for uh, maybe a 41.90, uh, it's not even showing up here. Yeah, no. You have to go 40, I don't want to do all. 41.90, that's actually a 15 delta. And what what would yeah, we be able to get with that? 40 cents on a $5 spread. Well, that's not too bad. I, I, I may be able to go with that. But usually I'm looking for around a buck. And, um, you know, like... Uh, uh, one to five or five to one risk to reward on these and just, they're not happening so uh, took a pass on that Netflix go back to monitor tab here not to want to wait for all that data uh, we have a target set up here for Netflix we're definitely in a downtrend same thing here iron condor uh, just gonna let it ride um, and just see what happens. Here we have Priceline uh, consolidating. Took a look at this yesterday too and I'm not really liking this. I'm taking this target off of here. Uh, reason. Okay, I have a reason. Uh, uh, we have uh, we have um, price consolidation here and if we're going to get into this we definitely would like to see price move above the previous day's high never even got close not even close so we're not seeing momentum or price movement on Priceline at all so we're going to take a pass on it the Russell we have an uh, PPS up I imagine that, well, the way that I probably, it's, it's probably going to work out is the haul today, if it continues up, is going to give us some, a move in that direction as well. So now, I definitely am in the market for a 20 delta, but it has to be a high probability. So that's what we're looking for here. SPX. Kind of the same story. Let's move this over. Looking for a 20 delta. Looking for an entry. Just kind of grinding here sideways and then grinding up. Nothing fantastic like we saw back here. Just a gentle nudge upwards. Tesla. Uh, okay, so looking for a move above this this is an alertable trade but I'm not I'm not doing anything with Tesla I'm not even gonna write this down I'm taking this off of here just because there's a little bit of confusion here we have a conflict we're uh, in a downtrend on the weekly we just started a downtrend on the daily um, Unless there's a huge move today, which I don't anticipate. Let's take a look at the trade tab here. Uh, 246. Yeah, it might gap up a tad this morning. 
looked at the spread like a dollar ninety spread <laughs> between the bid and the ask um, not interested and last but not least is Visa Visa we had a couple of, we had a gap up on Friday and it just hasn't done anything since then so not sure what to do about Visa either all right, so uh, that's, well, wait a minute. One more thing I wanted to show you. I didn't even know this. I wanted to show you this. kind of stumbled on it yesterday. You can click on this eye thing over here, and it'll tell you, um, you know those uh, alerts that you get when you first bring the chart up? Well, you can get them listed if there's a green eye up here that means that there was an alert on it and I've just been turning them all off because I really don't care to see them it just um, it clutters up the chart when I want to take a really fast look at it so I've been turning them all off so that's what you can do just check the do not notify me again and this is for um, many of them some of them actually have it uh, on all three charts like this one did have one but I think it got covered up by the IV percentile so I've been cleaning those up and getting rid of them um, so uh, I could set the charts up correctly so I wouldn't get the alerts for instance on this weekly chart I should turn off to show me the expiration Fridays and that would get rid of this oops this alert right here so it says expiration Friday is not shown for aggregation periods greater than or equal to one week all right so here is the chart settings so if we went to equities and where is that show show symbol show price overlap volume I know it's on here somewhere show steady show orders uh, fit high low time axis uh, show roller show expiration Friday and uncheck show rollover and say apply Okay, and now that green eye is no longer there. So if you want to just get rid of that, and then you can save this style as it says I'm in the Option Guru Dark Weekly. So I want to say save that style, include patterns and study set, and say okay and yes. So now I should not be getting that green eye over here. So if you have that showing up on your charts, uh, you can fix that by just because of the time periods uh, that you have showing on your charts, you may get those. And if you want to get rid of them, just uh, fix that option on that chart. And that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.